Sabrina, everything you say, everything you've done, I've seen it with my brother. It hurts me to see you go through, through the same thing. We just... Well, then why am I only finding out that it's a huge-ass issue with you guys now? Why didn't you, like... How do you go about to tell you that all this, huh? In a good way. You don't. We could see that you were hurting bad. And how do you go about telling somebody something like that without hurting or even worse? <sighs> Sabrina, we love you. We want to be there for you. Dude, ha I went to rehab full time and I worked full time. I put in 80 hour weeks this whole summer. I've been going but to counseling and therapy <sighs> and doing all this. Now you act like it wasn't sit, sit down for a little bit, Sabrina. Worth sit. any of it. Sit down. Like I I don't wanna sit down. Why do I need to sit down? You haven't been here. You didn't live in your car with ten blankets on top of you, so you wouldn't Freeze to death. You didn't do that. I know I got myself there, but I pulled myself back out of it and I got back on my feet. And you're standing there telling me, like, I didn't do. After you went through rehab, what did you do? Tell I me. relapsed. I felt like I spoke my piece. And at this point, Sabrina just needs time to find herself. I can't change her. I can't change anything. All I can do now is pray for Sabrina. Pray for her to find the right way, the right path. Rather than stay in a situation that I cannot control or change, I find it better to walk away and just pray about it. It's like the situation that other people are in. It helps me to remove myself. I have things that I would just, you know, I don't want to talk to Abe, I want to talk to you.